hello guys what's up i'm currently sitting at my window waiting for mr phil jones today is bike cleaning day you can see i've got all my cleaning gear on okay see you later bye look at my disgusting bike you know who made it Started on the touch of the button. That's the first time you started it. It's December. Wow. So this is my lovely bike, Ono, as a lot of you will know. Follow me online. I've been using this bike since December. Bear with the rider. Not showing you to admit it. With my health conditions and things. Do you remember? Ride, ride, ride. Exactly. <laughs> Just needs a thorough going over. It hasn't had a good clean four months. So today's the day and feels the man. Some of you may have seen my recent ish video how to clean your motorcycle using Auto Bright Extreme products. So, as I'm cleaning the bike, I'm going to pass on a few tips. Basically, we're going to hose the bike down, use a pre wash, start using all the different products. We're going to take our time doing it this afternoon, just have a little bit of fun. Here we go. <laughs> right, we're just going to soak the bike down. Good old soaking. Use our Extreme Bike Cleaner as a pre wash. That's what we do first. Whenever you're ready with a hose. Okay, come on this side so the camera can see. We've got a stream bike cleaner. So I start from the top, it just puts out optimized spray. We're just gonna cover the bike, keep an eye on the bolt, just a couple of minutes on this. Everywhere? Yep, yeah, everywhere. It does smell good, doesn't it? I'm in a pine forest somewhere in the Keep spraying. <laughs> We're against the clock on this bit. AJ just said about the tyres. It's okay to get on the tyres. We're going to give them a good old scrub afterwards as well. So we're going to try and get the whole bike super clean. How does that feel to you? It's good. You know what? It's not leaking. It's yeah. So I wear a bump action on some products. Yeah. You get that leakage on your hands, but my hands are still nice. Yeah, nice and clean. Awesome. Time to rinse it off. You don't need to film the whole of the rinsing off. We're basically using water to rinse off the pre-wash. Five minutes later. This is the magic foam that we're about to use. We've already got a little bit of magic foam in here. So I'm just gonna give this a little top up, a little plug into the carcher. That's what we're gonna do now. Yeah? Yes. Right, when you're ready then AJ, let's get to it. Start from the top, work your way down. What I normally say. <laughs> We're just basically going to cover the bike in this. Okay. That's it, all over the engine. Start from the top over the seat. What are you, fans? <laughs> it's not that kind of video. Saxophone, okay, get my close up. Ready? Yeah. People pay for money for that. I don't know who, but you know, come on. And basically, we then leave that on there for about five to eight minutes. Do its trick, its job. Fifteen minutes later. Oh, there you go. Well, you know now. You live, you learn. It's all about learning, guys. Okay, so we didn't get the mix right, the uh, pressure washer. But hey ho, when you do the pressure washer, just don't get it so close to all the um, rubbers and the chain, especially like the O-links and the chain. Soft is good. This is the mini culture. I didn't want one that was going to blow everything away. I just wanted one that I could do the pavement with and my bike, so you know. Perfect. I think it's a one up, so it's not too expensive. Wonderful. So, the next part is I've just thrown some products at you. Yep. What have we got there? Streak Free Shampoo by Auto Bright Direct, and they also sent me this brush. So now we're going to get uh, some buckets, put the street free shampoo in a bucket, rinse water, and we're going to wash the bike down. Any nice paint work, just use this good quality hand mitt. Um, you can use a brush, it's really, really soft, but I prefer to use this on paint work, so the brush will be on everything else but the paint. Okay, let's get to it. Start at the top on the paint work with the nice sponge and let it start running down. So from here and down? Yeah. On the paint. Yep, on the paint on the seat. Dunk it in, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Give it a soak in. Mm. That's it. Oh, nice. We need to get a rinse bucket in the moment as well. Oh, 
That's it. So the reason we're doing this is we're trying not trying to turn the put my hand in, we're not rubbing the dirt into the paint. The pre-wash and the magic foam would have removed most of the dirt, but this just does the last little stage. And after this little bit, once you've done this, then you can start rubbing it in, which is much nicer. That's why you get swells in paint work, you see on cars, people just use dirty sponges and they basically just work the um, dirt into the paint. Let me get the brush out. I don't have that much paint. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry. It still looks awesome though. It does actually. AJ's just about to put a bit more shampoo on the paints, on the tank. You work that in, do little circular motions. Now, if the bike is really, really dirty, you can get bits of dirt and grit on the end of the sponge. So that's why we have this second bucket. So once you've done that stage, pop it in, rinse it out, there you go, and then you pop that hand bit back into your green bucket, and you've got no dirt on the sponge. Every day's a school day. Every day's a school day. Every school day. <laughs> that's it. Like all over. Well, well, now what we're gonna do, because we've done the paint, we're now gonna get that brush, and we can use the brush to go over absolutely everything else. Danger Dave! Yeah, he's, he's seen some, some stuff. This is Diego Del Fuego. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we've pretty much done the whole bike, except the really, really grubby bits around the wheels and the chain. So now we've got the hose pipe out, and we just rinse this off. And then I'm going to get another brush, which is a bit more, um, it's kind of used for wheels and things, really. A bit more a bit, robust. A bit more robust. There you go. Don't use this brush. That's a bad idea. Okay, let's rinse. Some cheese, my cherry pie, sweet cherry pie. That one. Let's see that. I'll get my fuser. <laughs> Top to bottom. I must admit, I don't usually have quite so much fun when I'm doing this. Right. Sorry, back to school. There we go. Right, we don't need to film the whole thing, so basically we're just getting all the soap off with uh, cold water from the hose pipe. Fair in the third. Good job. Okay, so AJ's just done a great job getting all of the um, soap off. Now what we're gonna do, we've got these brushes here. Um, they're still, you know, good quality, but now we're gonna get to work around the chain and under there, which needs a little bit of love. So we're basically just gonna get these sponges, get them nice and wet, and all the really manky parts of the bike. And she's got her gloves on, so she means business. Let's go. AJ just suggested that she gets a little rolling road out to put under the back wheel, which is gonna help us cleaning the, around the discs and the chain. Manual, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's not very, it's not smooth, but what you do is just manually move the wheel like that. Nice. Because for people that don't have centre stands like this, yeah. it just helps you do your maintenance. It's Brilliant. Like, yeah. Good job. All right. Now we've got this Auto Bright Direct chain and sprocket degreaser. The sprocket, well lubed, which is great. On the little damp pipes there is a little bit mucky. We can give that a spray and then we're going to work our way around the chain as well. So you've got a, a chain cleaning brush as well, haven't you? It's the three-walled brush, so I do have to clean like this. Yeah. I'm gonna leave AJ to clean the chain because she's doing a fantastic job with that. Looking good. Look that. That, that grease coming all off. the grease is coming off. So you had a little bit of rust on there as well, and that's all come yeah. off as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually impressed. I didn't think it was gonna get it off to be fair, but um, yeah, it has done, it's shocked, it's been shocked, it surprised me. Nice one. I'm ready for my close-up. Nice one. And that is looking really nice. You can see, great job, and then we're going to just put some lube on there in a moment. I should probably point it out as well, obviously, if your chain is deeper than surface rust, get it replaced. And if you've got any tight spots or loose spots, like when you're doing your chain, make sure to replace it. And check the sprockets as well. So, yeah. Good advice. So while AJ is cleaning the chain, I've got this disc brake cleaner from Muckoff. I have got some ultrafine wire wall, and you can use the scotch bright to basically wrap around there, wipe that off. But to start with, I've just got this old nice cloth. I'm literally just gonna throw some of that on the disc and then wipe that round for starters. Of 
got this fine steel wall, well, this ultra fine steel wall. I use on lots of things, especially on the exhaust. We're just gonna yank a piece off of that and use some of that on the discs. That's good. Yeah? Yeah, one more bit. So that's it. Brilliant. Yeah. Brake disc cleaner and a bit of ultra fine wire wall. That's the trick. And while she's doing the grubby bits there, I've got the bike wire. I'm just basically starting to dry it all off from the top down because what we want to do is apply ACF 50 as well today. Before we apply the ACF 50, we want the bike to be really dry, like bone dry. Approximately 10 hours later. I'm just showing AJ a few little tips on, on using this. I've been working in with my detailing brush. You can squirt it off, it will start running, creeping into all the parts of the engine, around these nuts and bolts. Get your detailing brush and work that in. This is a microfiber cloth. This has already got some ACF 50 on there. Work that in there as well. This is great for things like on the tank and down the frame as well. Work that in. Give it a little squirt and basically work that in. What I do like to do, squirt it, leave it so it starts running and creeping all over the place. Working in the next product. You can see we put some ACF 50 in the lid and then we're using the detailing brush to really work it in there. Now remember ACF 50 was first created and invented for Aero people, that's it. Not the chocolate bar, <laughs> Not the chocolate bar no. Aeronautical. Aeronautical, there you go. Yeah. That's transforming that, isn't it? Mate, I can see my face in that. I've eaten dinner on set, but don't worry. My little baby. Damn, you're so handsome, I can kiss you. So once you've pretty much gone over and hold a bike, I've well, then got a brand new microfiber cloth, but we're just going to go over the bike again with this, just to dry it all off. Only the best for me. Only the best for AJ. Probably the best for me. Now you will get some smoke burning off from the ACF 50. When you start it up for the first time, that's going to happen. Don't panic. That's just the ACF 50 burning off the hot exhaust headers. What are you doing, AJ? I'm currently cleaning my black pipes, which are actually see through breather tubes. Well, this one is anyway, but... A clear breather pipe? Yeah, I'm just taking them out the hold and giving them a little wipe down, like a cow's udder, yeah. you know? Yeah, so we um, just used the de degrease on there, didn't we? They've come up really nice, haven't they? Get in there? Yep. Yay! <laughs> hey, Joe. Hello? Mudger here. Hi. <laughs> do you know what, actually, I should do that. That's a lot easier, isn't it? I'm just trying to get this out. Fiddling around. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted there to get all of these go. out so that I can give it a nice little yeah. rub down. What did you just say to me? You didn't know that pipe was clear? No, I don't think it's ever been cleaned, so... Girls enjoying the clean? Oh, yeah. Love it. You, you can do that later. No, oh, someone coming. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, so you can put the panels back on, yeah? Yeah, it's easy as one, two, three. Go on there, one, two, three. This is not going to work now because you're watching me. One, two, three. Gosh. Auto Bright Direct Extreme Ceramic Spray Sealant. All you do, you just spray it on. Come on. on. Just start rubbing that in. Where do you see that? Now the thing about AJ, she hasn't really said a great deal, but she is highly intelligent. Aww. Don't be deceived. Yeah, she's kind of letting me guide her today, but she really knows what she's talking about when it comes to bikes. Thanks. <laughs> Quite a transformation, but we knew, well I knew, it's just a little bit of surface rust here and there. In the winter, being left out in the winter, yeah, it looks amazing. bike is a little bit cleaner now than it was bit. earlier. Massively, massively. The Auto Bright Direct products will be used. What do you think of the Auto Bright products? I'm actually proper impressed and I don't normally say that I'm not being paid to say this either. It's um I've always been a, a muck off girl. Uh, because I think when a lot of people start out biking, it's like the herd of brands, so it's always interesting to hear different 
grams and to compare the two, I'm actually pretty impressed and it smells amazing, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool, thanks for hanging out with me today. <laughs> okay, so if you hold that for me a second. <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> it's Disclaimer, true. I'm actually intelligent. Can I mix some WD40? It's always when you start filming, the world decides to bypass down your road. Um, What's always the way? Is there any way? Anyone else? Bus, truck, train, helicopter? We have got that down the helicopter. road. <laughs> this is the um, pre Pretty clean enough. <laughs> Outtake number Pre one. <laughs> now, if you got. Now, if you. Yeah, I'll speak. Outtake two. <laughs> Complete video. Sorry. Oh, this is from my wiper. That's not from the bike. Pretty clean. Get the glam shirt. Gotta get some leverage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look, all over my face. Uh -huh.